This is eliciting or probing for cylinder. Eliciting or probing for cylinder should be performed after finishing the first power check when the following criteria are met. The patient sees worse than 2020, and no astigmatism was detected during the starting lens determination, either in retinoscopy, their habitual prescription, or autorefraction. The setup is fairly straightforward. You place a quarter diopter in the refractor cylinder bank. Sometimes books suggest up to a half diopter. You do need to compensate for the spherical equivalent in that situation. Half diopter is easier for patients to detect, but it's not as sensitive to small amounts of astigmatism. Next, align the JCC for power check with the axis at the 180. So the white dots or red dots will be aligned with the axis and it'll be set to 180. Flip the JCC as done for a standard power check. If the patient calls white, is sharper or better, that means there's a not astigmatism at that location, you should rotate the axis 45 degrees and recheck. If the patient says red is sharper, that suggests that axis is the primary axis for astigmatism. You should proceed to an axis check followed by a power check. If the patient though calls white at 180, you should repeat this to 45 and then to 90 and then to 135 as long as white or less power is reported. The end point for this is if you've completed all four flips, all four floor, four rotations, and white was the response or no cylinder was the response at all locations. This means the patient probably does not have any astigmatism at any location in the eye. Remove the, both the JCC and the quarter diopter from the bank and continue on to the second MPMA. If the patient calls red or the same at any time, you stop there as well. Reset the JCC for axis check at this position and start a normal JCC axis procedure followed by the PowerPoint. Let's watch this in a video. There are other methods of detecting cylinder besides the probe for cylinder. One of those is called the clock dial procedure, which was created in 1868. The indications for its use are used for estimating for starting points for axis and power of a cylinder when post-RET VAs are reduced beyond the need for JCC. If the patient is also unable to respond to JCC, that's a consideration to use the clock dial. It has many disadvantages. It's time consuming, uh, patient understanding is difficult, 
and it's insensitive to small powers and access checks. Here are three examples of different clock dials. But here's the clock dial we typically use in clinic from our projectors and our charts. The clock dial procedure for axis, after the retinoscopy VA check, remove the cylinder findings and check for four or fog for the patient to 2040. Present the clock dial and ask which lines of the clock are the darkest or have the most ink. If the patient reports that the lines are the same, the darkness is same in darkness, the procedure is ended. No cylinder is detected. Note, the patient must be able to see the lines. So to check for axis, we follow the rule of 30. If the patient reports that one set of lines are darker, clearer, sharper than the rest of the, 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 rest of the lines, multiply that line's smallest clock hour position by 30 to determine, determine the position of the cylinder axis. As an example, if a patient sees says that the 12 and 6 lines are the most distinct, multiply 6 by 30 for 180, then set the axis to 180 degrees. Note that the clock dial test is only accurate to plus or minus 15 degrees. For power, to determine the power, instruct the patient to watch the lines at 90 degrees away from the darkest line, or 3 to 9, and to report when they become the same darkness as the first set. Then add cylinder and quarter adapter steps until the patient reports the two lines are equally distinct or dark. When equality is reached, add another quarter to half diopter of cylinder to get a reversal. Just like bracketing, you can bracket around this to find the optimal position. Finally, remove the fog and refine the cylinder axis power on 2030 with the JCC. Caution, often a cylinder power is added in this the patient will report that the darker lines are shifting or moving. This is due to misalignment of the cylinder bank, bank to the true axis. There are different advantages and disadvantages of JCC versus clock dial. For so smaller amount of cylinders, when the visual acuity is better than 2030, the JCC is more se sensitive and accurate. For large cylinders, when the visual acuity is better than 2030, either method, method is appropriate. When visual acuity is worse than 2030 up to 2070, the JCC, because it's only a quarter doctor power in your phoropter, loses much of its accuracy. In that case, the clock dial is useful to determining the axis and power of the eye. When visual acuity is 2080 or greater, neither chart will work very well. Thank you.